Initial thoughts, just to give people an initial flavor yeah. of how you're feeling about it all. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait for the game to come around in in March. For the first time in a long time, got a real that kind of surge of optimism, bit of a feel good, that kind of adrenaline kick inside me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to. It. I think Mick will make an impact. I tried to listen to as much as the interviews from Mick and uh, Stephen during the, the week. I was impressed with both the tone uh, of each uh, manager, how he projected himself, what he had to say. I thought it was two really impressive interviews, and I'm I'm very optimistic in terms of the state of play at the moment, where we are. Okay. It's interesting all the lads who've played under Mick are feeling particularly excited. I guess you know what he's going to bring to the party. Kev's very excited. Heard Damien Duff saying he's really looking forward to it. And um, because I mean, there was a there's a level of oh, are we going back to the past twenty years ago with Mick? And people say, well, what's he done at Ipswich and Wolves? They're the more unfair. But I think that what Mick done at Ipswich, I think, is an argument for him getting the job. Yeah, fair enough. Because I think what he did at Ipswich was actually quite uh, extraordinary. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a pretty weak uh, conversation, pretty weak argument to say what did Mick win at Ipswich. You don't judge <coughs> manager, manager's qualities in terms of the titles of the trophies on the on the table. The scale of what Mick did at Ipswich should be gauged in where Ipswich are now, in his absence. Yeah, exactly. They've tumbled down the table. He was basically keeping them bobbing How? their heads above water when they'd no right to be. And even more, more than that, Rich, you had him on the, on the, on the verge of the playoffs, playoffs yeah. On, yeah. on a number of occasions and, and, and at, at the same time putting money in the bank. What, it, what he did at Ipswich is as good as anything that he did uh, in his career and it, it, he must be frustrated I mean, I, I would know that he didn't. W uh, what he achieved at this pitch wasn't the springboard for him to uh, land himself into a into a bigger and better job, and it hasn't happened. But I still think that might might that might come down the line for Mick. He's in the job for a, a year and a half. Let's hope it'll go well. I think it will. I think he'll get a reaction uh, from the players. I think his presence, his personality, his organisation, uh, organisational ability. He's got a good coach there with him, uh, Terry Connor. Robbie's presence uh, as well. Hopefully that'll have an impact, an immediate impact it needs to uh, with the players. We know how quick the games are going to come around. And, and just that uplift in terms of performance really is what we're after, Joe. And if we can get that, yeah. hopefully maybe that can take us on a quest of a wave to the, to the championships in a, a, year and a, half, a year and a half time. We'll talk in a bit more depth after nine. One last question for now, and I'm certainly going to be cautious about ramming this home people's throats after talking about it quite a lot last night, uh, which I accept I did. You paint a very good picture there of how it all may go. So then, how do you feel about the prospect of things going, hopefully as well as you expect them to, and things flying and momentum and a good Euros, and then in August Mick having to go and then a new manager come in when things certainly may not be broken, maybe far from it. That doesn't seem yeah. ideal. No, that is the ideal. Why? That's the ideal scenario Why? where you want to, your next manager coming in into an environment where the team is playing well, confidence is high, there's good energy. The relationship between the supporters and the and the players is what you would want. The the Viva being energised, everybody looking forward on the your positive mindset. That's exactly the scenario you want with a new manager coming in. And that's what's gonna happen. That's what's being agreed. Verbally between the managers, between the association and the individual managers and, and contractually, that's gonna happen. And I listened to Mick talking and Stephen, and they sounded quite comfortable with it. Mick in particular. I think he more or less alluded to the fact if he'd been offered a two a four year deal to tournaments he would have taken it mm -hmm. but when it was explained to him well this was the plan in place very quickly he absorbed and thought yeah I can buy into that I live with that and in some respects Joe I think it, it almost galvanised Mick even more so the fact he'll only have one shot one shot at taking us to a last major championships with him as manager and I think that almost as determined as he was anyway and enthusiastic about the appointment I think that will focus his mind even more that he, he'll, want to, he'll want to leave this job eventually on the with, the with 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 his relationship cemented with the Irish football and public, almost a parting gift to the Irish uh, football and public, mm -hmm. a place in a major championship final. So, yeah, um, I I can't get away from the fact that I'm I'm energised by the by the appointment.